Your mind is an amazing machine, doing far more than you can imagine. It's your biggest ally, but it can be your biggest enemy, especially when it comes to your finances. I'm Dr. Daniel Crosby, and we're going inside your mind to put you on your best behavior. Over the last 20 years, the market has returned an average of eight and a quarter percent per year, but the average investor has kept just about 4% of that. The highs and lows of the market may be out of your hands, but how you choose to behave is definitely within your power and is just as important a driver of returns. Risk is not a paper loss. Risk is not underperforming your golf buddy. Risk is not even underperforming the S&P. Real risk is the probability of you permanently losing your money. Viewed thusly, those with a long time horizon and diversified portfolios are taking on very little risk indeed. Compound interest is the secret to getting rich slowly. The way to maximize the power of compounding is to start today and stay consistent. If you hope to reach two million in retirement savings and start investing at age 22, you can hit your target by saving less than $6,000 a year. Wait until you turn 40 and things have gotten much tougher, requiring $26,500 in yearly savings. Diversification is not a panacea, nor does it prevent your portfolio from falling, even dramatically at times. What it does is protect you from idiosyncratic risk and losing your shirt on a concentrated bet. Buying a car with an airbag is not a bad idea, even if you never get in a wreck. Diversifying your portfolio is similarly wise, even if the benefits may not always be apparent. Famed contrarian David Dreeman found that from 1973 to 1993, of the nearly 80,000 estimates he looked at, there was a one in 170 chance that analyst predictions would fall within plus or minus 5% of the actual realized result. The smartest people in the world don't bother with a crystal ball. Said JP Morgan of the market's future trajectory, it will fluctuate. Nobel laureate Paul Samuelson said it best. Investing should be more like watching paint dry or watching grass grow. If you want excitement, take 800 bucks and go to Las Vegas. Benchmarking to your own goals instead of an arbitrary external benchmark has myriad benefits. First off, it personalizes the whole endeavor and makes investing about doing what you love instead of outperforming others. Research also shows that goals-based investors are more likely to stay the course during tough times and even save at higher rates since they are doing something that's personally meaningful. When it comes to wealth, make sure to take a long view and remember this isn't Vegas. Money is better when it's boring.